Hello, everyone. We'll go ahead and get started. My name is Annette Rodriguez, and I am the coordinator for the Terry Scholars Program at UTEP. I do want to thank everyone for joining us today in our Terry Scholar Welcome event. Buenas tardes a todos. Estamos listos para empezar. Mi nombre es Annette Rodriguez y soy la coordinadora del programa Terry Scholars en la Universidad de Texas en El Paso. Gracias por estar hoy con nosotros. At this time, I would like for my fellow colleagues to introduce themselves. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you all for being here. My name is Mallory Payan, and I'm one of the assistant directors in the Student Engagement and Leadership Center, and I work with Annette to help oversee the Terry Scholars Program. Thank you all for being here. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Nicola Aguilar, and I'm the director of the Student Engagement and Leadership Center, and I have the privilege of working with Mallory and Annette um, and working with all of you, maybe directly or indirectly, uh, through this program. So I want to thank you all for taking the time to be here and allowing us to share this special moment with you all and with your families and with past um, uh, scholars. So thank you all, and we look forward to having a wonderful hour with you all. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to leave this connected and go back to that. Thank you, Nicole. So before we get started, we want to um, share a few housekeeping rules for everyone to ensure that this Zoom experience is beneficial for everyone and that we can hear everybody. So Annette, do you want to go over those housekeeping rules for us? Yes, at this time, we would like everyone to mute yourselves and turn off your camera if you're part of the audience. En este momento le pedimos que silencie su micrófono y apague la cámara. You can turn these off towards the left hand bottom of your screen if you are using your mobile device or laptop. And we only ask that the nine incoming scholars stay uh, on with their cameras and they know that they will unmute themselves once we start um, asking them a, a few questions. We will make time at the end of the event to allow any members of the audience to give a few words of encouragement to these Terry Scholars. If you would like to participate, we do ask that you let us know in a private message via the chat option, and we will include you in the list and name you by order. So again, if you would like to say a few words to our Terry Scholars towards the end of the event, please let us know via the chat option, and we'll go ahead and call you at the end of the event. At this time, we'll go ahead and get started introducing our nine incoming Terry Scholars. We have asked them to prepare a brief statement that covers a little bit of their background, their high school, where they're coming from, and something they look forward to when starting at UTEP this upcoming fall semester. The first one on our list is Brian Arriaga. Well, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Brian Arriaga. I will be graduating from Horizon High School, and I will be majoring in computer science. Um, currently, I'm an investor and I plan on starting my small business during college. I'm very grateful to call myself a Terry Scholar and could not be more thankful for this opportunity. Um, this scholarship has saved a tremendous amount of debt for both me and my family and has helped me start my new path for success. I'm very excited to meet all of you this coming fall semester. Thank you, Brian. Next, we have Anya Fierro. Hi, everyone. My name is Anya Olet Fierro, but I just go by Anya. I was born in El Paso, but raised in Ciudad Juarez, uh, giving me the opportunity to enjoy a little bit of the both worlds. I was happy with my education in Juarez, but I was really excited to attend an American high school, like the one I had seen in High School Musical. Uh, although I had to cross the border almost every day to go to high school, I enjoyed being a Silver Fox at Jefferson Silva High School. I'm extremely grateful to have been given the opportunity and cannot thank the Terry Foundation enough. From a young age, my parents have been telling me they cannot afford my education. Having the Terry Scholarship removes the stress of financing my education and helps me focus on what's important. To achieve my lifelong dream of becoming an astronaut. I'm beyond excited to meet all of you next semester when everything is hopefully back to normal. I can't wait to experience being a UTEP minor with all of you next semester. Thank you. Thank you, Anya. Our next scholar is Ana Lucia Garcia. Hi, good afternoon. My name is Ana Lucia Garcia, and I like to be called Ana Lucia. 
I am proud to say that I will graduate as an El Paso High School Tiger this summer. So I love music and I love to sing. Um, I have acquired my passion for music because it unites me to my family, you know. Whether I sing in the house or on stage, I feel connected to them in some way. I decided to combine my passions of music and education to study music education to pursue a career as a choral director. Honestly, becoming a college student made me nervous because I was always worried about what major I'm going to take, where I'm going to live, and how I'm going to pay for all of it. However, I am awarded a Terry scholarship and I am truly blessed and honored to accept it. Since I don't have to worry much about the financial aspect of my college career, I will be able to focus more on my studies and hopefully become a significantly accomplished student. What I look forward to the most about attending college is fully enveloping myself in the world of music and being part of a large new family at UTEP. I have an exciting future as a UTEP minor ahead of me and I would like to thank the Terry Foundation for helping me take another step closer to my dreams and thank you to my family and everybody else for supporting me. I'm happy to be a 2020 Terry Scholar. Thank you, Ana Lucia. Our next scholar is Eric Ardea. Hello everyone, thank you all for being here today. My name is Eric Ardea and I'm currently a senior from Price High School. Being a part of Clan ISD has really allowed me to be an active member in both my school and my community. You know, for example, just thinking back to this past summer, working alongside um, administration and the school board, we were able to compromise a policy change that would create a more inclusive district and I'm glad I was able to be part of that. And in the past four years, I've been fortunate enough to be part of my school's marching band, went ensemble, jazz band, debate team, and many more organizations. Nextly, this scholarship is truly a blessing and it's going to help me in more ways than I can count. I'm going to be able to pursue a bachelor's of business administration and economics without having to put the financial burden on myself or my family. And this just really excites me for what the future has in store. <clears throat> I'm also looking forward to being surrounded by like-minded individuals who also share a common goal of not only bettering themselves, but bettering the people in the world around them. And I'm glad I'm going to be able to share and have all these new and different experiences with these fellow scholars. And with that said, I'm very grateful for all the amazing people in my life who have made something like this possible for someone like me. And a quick shout out to Annette and Mallory for really guiding all of us through this process and for reassuring us that we're really all in this together. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. Next up, we have Matthew Gardea. Hi everyone, my name is Matthew Gardea and I'm a proud Scorpion from Horizon High School. I'll be pursuing a degree in business administration and accounting. And a little bit about myself is one, I love band, debate, and politics. And growing up in a small town, well, I grew up in Tornillo, it taught me the importance of valuing opportunity, which has really affected the approach that I've decided to take towards high school, making me be very active in my extracurricular activities. One, I was a section leader in band, I play the baritone saxophone, I'm also the class treasurer, the debate president for my high school's debate team. I qualify for state and congressional debate, along with me and my brother, Eric, who's also a Terry Scholar. We competed in UIL cross-examination debate, won first place and won the District 2 by the champion title and also advanced to the state tournament. I've also had the privilege of serving on my school district's student advisory committee. And lastly, um, I do political activism work where I serve as the policy director for the El Paso Young Democrats. And I look forward to joining and being a part of UTEP Student Government Association and debate team, but most importantly, being a part of the community, the Terry community. Now, the first thing that comes to mind when thinking about the scholarship are two words, life-changing. Now, I know many won't believe that something like a scholarship can be life-changing, but for me specifically, it's really changed the entire trajectory of my future. You know, I pictured myself in college, working a job, living at home and having to commute back and forth from literally opposite sides of El Paso. And, but the scholarship has really given me the opportunity to seek higher education without being a financial burden on my parents, as well as allowing me the opportunity to begin my future debt-free. And for me, that's very life-changing. And I would just like to thank the Terry Foundation for taking a chance on someone like me and just really making all of this possible. And I'm very excited to be starting at UTEP as a Terry Scholar. Thank you. Thank you, Matthew. Next, we have Emiru Ishikawa. 
Hello, my name is Amiru Ishikawa. I am graduating from Haines High School. I am actually half Japanese, half Guatemalan, and I'm also a first generation immigrant. Over the recent years, I have gained a passion for environmental issues, and I've actually decided to major in environmental science. And for the past four years, I've, I have actually been a part of the French program at my school. Before receiving the Terry scholarship, I didn't really know if I could go to college because of the cost, and my parents can't really pay for my college education because of a lot of uh, medical related expenses that they have. So I'm just really grateful for this amazing opportunity uh, to pursue my to pursue a higher education. And the thing that I'm looking forward to the most uh, this upcoming year is to explore UTIP with my, with my friends and also just ex uh, experience being a college student and just become involved in organizations and campus life. Thank you so much, Amiru. Next, we have Diana Lopez Valdez. Hi, my name is Diana Guadalupe Lopez Valdez, but I like to be called Lupita. I was born and raised in El Paso, Texas. I am proud to be graduating from Laredo Academy High School. During my years there, I was given the opportunity to meet many inspiring Laredo graduates that have given back to their city and Laredo community. Laredo has taught me the importance of giving back and what it really means to be a leader. During my years there, I was given the opportunity to be president of two clubs and be part of the swim team and cross country team. Loreto has taught me the importance of faith, justice, community, and respect. Although my years have come to an end there, I am really excited to be starting a new journey at my Terry Familia at UTEP. The Terry Foundation has helped my family since 2016, initiating with my sister Noemi. I am really grateful they will continue to help me. Although the Terry Foundation will help my family pay for college, I believe that it is much more than that. The Terry Foundation will provide me in many resources and a new supported family. I am excited to be entering UTEP with them and looking forward to meet everyone in person. I plan to study computer science with a minor in biomedical engineering. I am also proud to be, I'm also excited to begin in research and plan to join student organizations such as Global Medical Brigade and Student Government. I want to thank the Terry Foundation for this great opportunity and the, for the support they will give me for these upcoming four years of my life. Thank you. Thank you, Lupita. Now we have Yesenia Juarez. Hi, my name is Yesenia Juarez. I come from Silva Health Magnet High School, where I've been involved in many school activities, such as mock trial NHS, the pharmacy technician program there, and I have committed all my, all my four years to band. I really enjoy school. I can truly say it has been the best four years of my life. Silva has taught me so much about healthcare that I decided that's what I wanted to pursue in the future. I have met many amazing teachers that have taught me so much, and I'm really grateful I had the honor to attend Silva. I love spending time with my family and playing with my little sisters. They are the reason I'm here today. This scholarship will help me and my family so much by allowing me to pursue my dream career without my parents having to worry about a single thing. My parents have given me so much and I can now pay them back. They will see me succeed and pursue the dreams they always encourage me to have. I will be majoring in cellular and molecular biochemistry, which I'm super excited for, as I get to study science, something that I've always loved. And after I plan to continue my education and work on greater things. One thing I'm most excited about for at UTEP is the new environment that I will experience. I get to go to a new school and meet so many new people there and be more involved in more activities while still be able to while still being able to do research and focus on my dream career. I wanna thank the Terry Organization for the bottom of my heart for seeing something in me and giving me this life-changing opportunity that I will not take for granted. Thank you. Thank you, Yesenia. And last but not least, Mr. Alberto Villegas. All right. Good afternoon, my name is Alberto Villegas. Although it's unusual, my friends and family like to call me Bert. I come from a family of four and I'd like to note that my sister, Adriana Villegas, is the president of the Terry Organization at UTEP. I recently attended Hanks High School where I was a consistent member of Top 10. I was the NHS president and the percussion section leader of the Hanks Band. I have a heavy interest in playing drums, especially in a jazz setting. I am humbled to say I was ranked number one in, this, in Texas for the Allstate Jazz Band, and I look forward to working with others who are as musically inclined as I am during my attendance at UTEP. This scholarship will greatly benefit me and my family as I get to spend time and learn from those who have overcome obstacles and have remained academically and emotionally determined regardless during their high school years. 
it will also be a great benefit in the sense that it saves my family from the worry and stress of having to cover my expenses here at UTEP. Having said all this, I truly look forward to entering the college chapter of my life, probably as a cherry scholar. Thank you, Bert, and thank you to all of our scholars. It is great to hear that you are all excited to start at UTEP this upcoming fall semester. Now we want to continue with uh, some more questions, and this is in hopes of getting to know all of our scholars better and for all of our audience to know um, our wonderful nine incoming Terry scholars that will begin at UTEP this upcoming fall. Thanks, Annette, and congratulations again to all of our scholars. We're so proud of you, and I'm so excited to continue to hear your stories. Um, our first question that we have for you, for whoever would like to share, is what were your first thoughts when you received your scholarship letter from the Terry Foundation? And then share with us how maybe your friends, your family, or anybody close to you reacted when you also gave them the news. Lupita, do you want to start us off? Sure. Okay. So initiating um, the Terry um, journey, we were told that we were gonna receive our letters the 10th of April, April 10th, but we actually received them the 8th. And I was um, in a class in a Zoom meeting and it was one of those classes that you have to have your camera on, your audio on, because the teacher was asking questions. So, um, I was answering a question and then I received this phone call from a friend and she tells me like, hey, the results are out. So I went to my email thinking that the result was going to be like inside the email, like saying congratulations, but I actually opened the email and there was like a PDF. So my heart was racing a lot. I was like, oh my gosh, no. So I opened the PDF and it said congratulations. I was still in class, the teacher could still see me, and I like, like just ran out of the classroom, I was screaming, and then the teacher was panicking because she didn't know what was happening to me. <laughs> and I went to my mom and I told her like, hey, like I got the Terry scholarship. My mom was crying, my sister like went up to me, and went me, and then she was like, oh my gosh, you got it. And so everybody was like, super happy and super joyful. The teacher thought my house was burning down initiating, but I just told her that I got this scholarship. And so it was good. It was a good Wednesday. Thank you, Lupita. How about Matthew and Eric? Can you let us know what your reactions were when you received the, the, the good news? I don't know if you want to turn your mic on, Eric, just in case. Yeah, OK. So when me and Eric um, first initially, well, in the morning, um, I got a phone call from one of my counselors and she called me saying, oh, one of the college and career readiness counselors said the Terry results are out today. And just like Lupita said, we were kind of expecting results to come out on a Friday instead yeah. of a Wednesday. So from there, I immediately, I, I tell my counselor, okay, I'll call you right back. So I check my email and then it says Terry Foundation scholarship interview results. And so, like Lupita said, instead of just clicking it and it telling you yes or no, you have to click an extra or open an extra file. So from there, you know, my heart's racing. I'm like, oh. So I tap on the file. And then from there, the first word I see is congratulations. So then I run to Eric and then I immediately tell Eric, and I don't know if you want to continue that part. <laughs> okay, so for me, um, every time I wake up, that's always the first thing I do. I always check my email. And you know, same as they both have said, we were expecting email on um, Friday. So I open my email, you know, I'm going, you know, seeing usual, um, I guess, filler emails, and then I see Terry scholarship results. And I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Like, and you know, I opened it, and the same thing, I had to click a PDF, and I, I was just, you know, expecting the worst, hoping for the best, and you know, it's a congratulations. And the first thought that came to my mind was, Oh, I hope we both got it. Like, I don't want to, um, I wouldn't have wanted to be the only one who got it between the both of us. I feel that we both have, you know, worked very hard these past four years. And um, so I was talking to my aunt on the phone and 
Matthew walks in the room and he just tells me, check your email. And I tell him, I got it. He's like, I got it too. And we were like, ah, but I don't know. It was just, <laughs> it was just super exciting. And, you know, I'm, I'm really thankful to the foundation for giving both of us the scholarship. And, you know, from the bottom of my heart, I'm not, um, I'm going to take full advantage of the scholarship and I'm not going to let it go to waste. You know, and it was just really exciting getting to tell all of, all of our family, you know, one by one. We're commuting between Torneo and Horizon, you know, now during this quarantine, just to kind of check up on family, make sure everyone's doing all right. And so the first person we were able to tell was our grandma. And we grew up with her and, you know, just telling her she jumped up and down. She was super excited. And then that same night, coming home and telling my dad and my mom was just a really great experience. It's just something I'll never forget. <laughs> Thank you, Matthew and Eric. That's very, very exciting. Um, and I'm pretty sure we'll eventually, you know, get to uh, distinguish you a little better. Uh, as long as Eric keeps his hair long, we'll be fine. Um, Emidu, how about you? Can, can you let us know what your reaction was when you got this email? Uh, honestly, like I just woke up and then I saw the email and then I, I was like still asleep and then I saw it and it like woke me up immediately and so I just like went out of my room and then I told my mom and usually like she's not really much of an affectionate person but like she gave me a hug right away and it was just, you know, different to see from her I guess. That's wonderful. Thank you for sharing that, Amiru. Brian, can you let us know some of your thoughts, uh, reactions from your family members that they had when you gave them the good news? So it was also kind of like what happened to Matthew and Eric. So I remember I was um, checking my email right after I had woken up. And it was like that phase where it's like I could either fall asleep again or wake up. So then I remember I refreshed my email and I saw all oh, Terry Foundation and immediately my heart started racing too. So then I opened the email and the same thing. I saw another file where I have to click the PDF file. And and I'm like, oh my God, my heart's racing even more. So then I'm already like mentally preparing myself like failure, like just in case, just in case. And then I see congratulations and I immediately jump out of bed and I run up to my mom and I tell her, I got the Terry scholarship. And then, well, we were just both like really excited and happy. And my dad was asleep, so I woke him up too. And I was like, hey, look, I got the scholarship. And he was like half asleep, he didn't even know what was like going on. But um, yeah, like by the end of the day, we kind of just like kind of celebrated it. We couldn't even like actually celebrate because of this whole quarantine thing. But I think that was just like really special that I was able to share this moment with my family. Yes, I agree. It's still definitely some good news in the middle of, you know, the uncertainty and the challenges that we are facing. Um, how about you, Bert? What were your reactions, family's reactions, Adriana's reactions? Okay, so I wasn't even half asleep. I was asleep. Um, like I was fully asleep. So I get this really loud notification from my phone. It's like uh, just your regular standard notification noise. I'm just like, who's trying to bother me this early? Like I was just super grumpy, like why? So I, I check my phone, like my eyes are still very blurry. Like I can't even make out what it's saying. And I, I just open it anyways, because why not? So I open it and then I see like Terry Foundation, but it doesn't really click to me that it says results. So I'm just like, oh, it's, it's probably just something like explaining like our results should be coming soon or something. So I click it and I open it and then my, my eyes are finally able to make out the words congratulations. I was, I was like, wow, like I actually got it. And like, it still took some time for me to wake up and like really understand the effect of it. But I got up and I went to go tell my mom, like, I got it. She's like still half asleep too. But she's like, you got it? And I was like, yeah. And I go back to my room. And I'm just sitting in my bed, like, like just shocked. She goes to tell my sister and I hear her from the other room, like, you got it? I was like, oh my God, like. It was, it was super awesome. Like, I think it took us more than just that day to really understand, like, the depth of, like, how much of a blessing it was to get it. But, yeah, it was super awesome. I was, like, screaming in the inside. That's wonderful. Uh, let's move on to Miss Anya Fierro. Can you share a little bit about, you know, your reaction or what your thoughts were? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I actually have my emails on my phone. So like I always get the Gmail notifications and I was like, oh, it's another email. I'll check it later on my computer. So I did like my whole setup for online school and then I was going through my emails and I saw it and I was like, oh, that's important. Then I clicked on it and I read it. And as soon as I saw congratulations, I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. But everyone in my house was asleep. So I kind of had to like keep it to myself for a little. 
And then I ran all the way to my sister's room and then I started jumping up and down and I was like, bro, I got it. I got it. Oh my God. And she just like, she got so happy for me because she applied last year, but she didn't get it. And she's currently at a UTEP and she was like, yes, we're going to be at UTEP together. I'm going to see you every day. And I was like, yay. Oh my God. It was so exciting for both of us. And I didn't tell the rest of my family till a week later because it like, I don't know. I was like, I couldn't believe I had gotten it. So I was like trying to process everything. I was trying to make sure it wasn't like fake news. And I even called people from my school and I was like, is this for real? Is this like the actual Terry Foundation? And um, the people from ETS, they told me, yes, like you actually got it. And then I FaceTimed my family. I called my dad. Everyone was like super excited. No one really understood what it was. They were like, oh, a scholarship. Good for you. But then I kind of like explained it and they were like, wow, we're so proud of you. So I'm like, I don't know. It was, it was like super good news in the middle of all of this. And I'm so excited I got it. Thank you, Anya. How about you, Ms. Yesenia? Can you share with us some of your thoughts? Yeah, um, well, like people were saying, I was expecting it on a Friday. So that Wednesday, I was just sitting down on the couch. I was talking to my mom and to my sister's nurse and to my other sister. We were all just there. And all of a sudden, I start looking through my email and I see Terry Foundation results. And I was like, oh, no way. I got super nervous. I didn't know what to do. So I was... I wanted to open it, but I was too scared to open it because I, I didn't know what was going to happen. So I told my sister's nurse to open it, and she clicked on it, and she said, it says congratulations. And I was like, wait, what? No way, no way. And I was like, maybe it just says congratulations because I interviewed nothing else. Is that maybe just because of that? And then we started reading through it, and I saw that I had gotten it. It said, you're a, Terry, a 2020 Terry Scholar. And... I was like, wow, I, I really got it. So my mom, everyone got so excited for me. And then it got to tell, I had to tell my sister and I told her and she was like, wait, so you're moving out? You can't, you, you can't leave us, don't move out and blah, blah, blah. So yeah, that was her reaction. She was kind of sad that I was moving out, but everyone else was happy. And now she's come to terms with it. and. She even asked me like a week ago if I could, she could move in with me, but I told her no. But yeah, that was my experience. Thank you, ma'am. And last but not least, Ms. Ana Lucia, can you share with us your, your thoughts, reactions? Sure. Um, so by the time I, che I checked my emails on my phone, on my phone, on my laptop, because I don't get the notifications on my phone. So by the time I logged into my email, I was completely awake. Mm -hmm. And, and so I saw on um, the header, I saw Terry. And as soon as I saw Terry, Gmail has this, um, this software for me that I can immediately open the PDF without opening the email. So I saw Terry and I'm like, no PDF. So then I saw congratulations and I'm like, congratulations, what does that mean? So then I kept reading through and I'm like, congratulations, you have received the Terry scholarship and we will be supporting you throughout your college career. And I'm like, oh my goodness, yes. The catch is I wanted to tell my family right away, but my mother, she's an accompanist. So she has to record accompaniment tracks for her clients at UTEP. And my father is a music teacher and I didn't know if he was having his online meetings with the students. So as soon as I heard silence, I opened the door and I peek out of my room and I'm like, okay, my mom's not playing, that's a good sign. My dad's not talking or in a conference, that's another good sign. So I, I just went up to them and I'm like, mom, dad, and they're like, what? And I'm like, you guys are looking at a Terry Scholar. And my mom's like, oh! and my dad says, really? And I'm like, yeah, it's so cool. And then my little brother was asleep. <laughs> so then once he woke up, I, I told him, I told him that I got the Terry Scholarship. He's like, which one's that one? And I'm like, the one where I have to move out. He's like, oh, cool, like at your room. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we were all so happy and, and for the next few days, I've been getting congratulations messages from my friends and from other family members that my parents have bragged to. So yeah, that was my exciting day. <laughs> Thank you, Ana Lucia. Definitely some very, very surprising reactions from all of your family members and friends. We'll go on to the next question and maybe alternate a bit just to you know, um, get, get to know you again a little better. 
Uh, can I start off with Bert? Uh, Bert, can you let us know what positive impact you hope to have in the future? Yeah, so, um, so like I said, I really like playing drums. I like playing music. And um, like whenever I'm at a concert, like I'm playing a solo and stuff, you know, it's always, my favorite part is always to see everyone like in the audience, like smiling and like really excited to see what I'm doing. And especially like in certain concerts, I have like the freshmen that are in my certain, like in the certain year, they come up to me like, like, wow, like, you know, you've worked so hard and you're able to do all this stuff. You're able to accomplish all these things. And you really make me want to keep forward and making like my craft better. And like, that's really the impact I want to have on people. Like, not even just like at music or on drums, but just in general, like I want to use my craft. I want to use this opportunity to, you know, express myself and allow people to see that I've remained positive, even in like the worst times and that I can keep moving forward and improving upon myself and to show that like it can inspire you to, you know, achieve your dreams, achieve your passions and whatnot. Thank despite you, what you're going through. Yes, that's definitely something we all need to, need to look forward to and always find the good out of the bad and learn, um, learn out of every situation. So I appreciate you sharing that with us. Eric, can you let us know what impact you hope to have in the future? So um, a positive impact that I hope to have in the future is that I, I aspire to be a lawyer who will represent and defend those who have been wrongfully convicted of crimes that they did not commit. And to just shed light on many of the injustices that have plagued our society for many years, um, you know, just especially on lower income families and communities. So that, that's the positive impact that I hope to have. Thank you, Eric. I'll go on to Mr. Brian. Brian, can you share, uh, you know, something that you think you will, um, an impact that you hope to have in the future? Well, I think uh, just exactly like Eric and Bert said it, I think they couldn't have said it any better. I think that's what it really is about, just doing what you love is helping other people, you know, like um, that's what it really is the most important thing. As long as you're doing something positive and you feel like it's making a good impact on other people, I think that's truly what it really is about. That's what makes us like um, uh, positive human beings, you know? Yes, definitely. Miss Anya Fierro, are you, um, can you tell us what positive impact you hope to have in the future? Uh, yes, uh, as someone who's going into an engineering field, I would love, love, love in the future to make sure girls and women know that it's okay to be a woman in STEM. Because, like, growing up, I never really saw women, like, being successful in those fields. They're, they're always, like, put down or they're always made feel like they're a little bit less. They could, they could do something else. So I want to make sure that I do that while I work and, like, as I get more successful, I don't just want it to be success for me. I want it to be success for all the young girls that are, like, looking up to me and saying, oh, my God, I can do that, too. Like, I can be a girl who likes math and science. It can be a girl who can be an engineer. So that's like what I want to be. Thank you. We'll move on to the next question. Let me ask you, Ms. Emiru Ishikawa. Do you have a role model, role model or someone that you look up to? And if so, can you tell us why? Uh, yes, I would say my role model right now is my friend Jasmine. We actually met um, in my junior year. We had like freak out together. And we basically like bonded over that. And honestly, she just has shown me like my potential and like what I'm capable of. She actually like showed me the Terry scholarship herself. And right now she's a freshman in college at UTEP and she has like two jobs and she's like, she has a 4.0 and she's like involved everywhere. And that just like motivates me to be a better person, like just get more involved. And I'm excited to like explore UTEP together with her this year. Thank you. How about you, Yesenia? Is there someone that you look up to or do you have a role model? Yeah, I do. Um, well, I look up to a lot of people, uh, my teachers, my parents, but my parents who have always been there for me anytime I was stressed or tired or wanting to quit, my parents just pushed me back up. I always looked up to them because of how hardworking they are and they have always done what's best for me and my sisters and I can never thank them enough. They have kept a roof over my head. I have never been hungry, and most importantly, I've never felt unloved. And 
I know that's a price I can never pay them back, but they're my heroes and I will look up to them forever. And I, I look forward to making them proud. Thank you, Yesenia. Thank you everyone for all your responses. I'll move to the last question. We do have a few minutes for our scholars to share uh, some of their thoughts with the audience. Um, so for the next five, six minutes, I just want all of uh, our scholars right now, if you want to say something to your parents, your family, your friends, anyone that has helped you walk in your path towards success, um, if you would like to share you know, a few words to anyone who is in this call or just say in general something that you're thankful for, please um, go ahead and, 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 and do that now. And then we'll go ahead and move on to the uh, last part of the event where we'll let the audience uh, share some, some of their thoughts with you. Go ahead, Matthew. Well, I mean, you know, growing up, me and Eric, we've always had the, like a super complicated family setup, you know, kind of going back and forth and, you know, just having different parts of the family and just super complicated. But I think all of that, I just like to thank all of my family out there that has really supported both of us. And I think without them and without a lot of the experiences that we had growing up, especially, you know, when we were younger in Torneo, super small town and... I think a lot of those experiences and a lot of the family that has really guided us is what has really contributed to the success of, you know, both me and my brother, you know, and with getting the scholarship and all of that, just hearing everybody, oh, the twins, the twins, the twins got it, you know, and just all of that, I think none of that would have been made possible without the support of our family and a lot of the different life experiences and things that me and Eric have gone through and experienced throughout our upbringing. Thank you, Matthew. We're definitely very, very happy to have you and Eric on board. Um, and again, congratulations. Is there anyone else, any, uh, anyone of our scholars that would like to say something to your parents? Go ahead, Yesenia. Okay, so I want to thank my teachers right now, the ones that I invited here today. I just want to say thank you, Mr. Gates, Mr. Castro, and Ms. Stockerty. You guys have truly impacted my life and have taught me many things I will never forget. You guys made school feel like a home away from home, and I will always remember you as the best teachers I've ever had. So thank you so much for everything, and I will keep in touch, and I love you guys. Thank you, Yesenia. Bert, we'll go with you. Um, to, to my mom, my sister, um, I love you guys. Thank you guys for always being there for me. I know I can be a handful, but like, We've been in for a pretty crazy ride, but no matter what, you guys always rated positivity in my life, and I hope I was able to do the same for you guys. Um, to all my friends and family, all my friends and teachers at Hanks, thank you guys for laying the foundation for me to have all this success and always um, giving me something excited like to look forward to every time I went to the kingdom. So thank you guys. Thank you, Bert. Anyone else? Any of our scholars that would like to share um, anything with the audience or you know, a few uh, words of appreciation? Go ahead, Eric. Um, you know, I, I just wanted to reiterate it again that, you know, thank you to um, Annette and Mallory. You guys have truly made this a really good experience for us all, just, you know, guiding us and, you know, really showing us that this organization is truly a family and that we're all going to be there for each other. And, you know, just knowing that we're going to all have you two to guide us these next four years is just really reassuring. And I thank you both for the wonderful things that you all do for um, all of the students that you guys help. Thank you, Eric. We appreciate that. It means a lot. And I believe I saw one more hand. Was that Lupita? And Anna. Okay, go ahead, Lupita. So I just want to say thank you to my parents and my sister and my brother for always like pushing me to do the best I can to motivate me to have higher goals. I also want to thank Sister Buffy, Mr. Silva, Mrs. Bath, and Miss Priest for always um, putting a smile into my face during school and always like um, relaxing me when I was stressed over applications or any other things that I had going on in my life. I just I want to say thank you for your love and your support and um, thank you. Thank you, Lupita. 
And lastly, Ms. Ana Lucia. Hi, um, I would like to say thank you, of course, primarily to my family for helping me go through this process and for encouraging me to take this application because I was really hesitant at first. Um, thank you to Ms. Annette and Ms. Mallory because um, I remember when my FAFSA was under verification and I was freaking out because I had a deadline. They helped me get through this uh, smoothly <laughs> and on time, thankfully. And thank you, of course, to my friends who have supported me throughout high school through the last four years. And for my college counselor, actually, because she has helped me so much on this last year. And I'm not sure if I would be here without her. So thank you to everyone. Thank you, everyone. At this time, we'd like to now allow some time for our audience to say a few words of encouragement to our scholars. We do have a lot of special guests here today, so thank you again to everyone for joining us. Scholars, you may or may not know, but we have some folks here on this call that were part of your interview and some very special guests from the Terry Foundation. So at this time, I'd like to introduce Ms. Yvonne Moody, President and Executive Director for the Terry Foundation. Well, hello, everybody. What a special treat for us today to hear your stories and to share in your excitement. Um, let me first give an introduction since there's a lot of people on this call. I hope that you guys realize that at one point there were 75 people called in here. So I wanna say thank you, especially to all the Terry Scholar alumni that, that have joined in to participate. That is representative of the family that you're joining. So just a quick intro about me, I am a Terry Scholar. I was in the very first class of Terry Scholars at Texas A&M when there were only six of us. And I was actually interviewed by Mr. and Mrs. Terry. I studied mechanical engineering, so go women in STEM. I love that. And I never dreamed that I would have the opportunity to carry on Mr. Terry's legacy. But there's nothing that's more important to me um, UTEP has a very special place in my heart. I actually interviewed the first three classes of Terry Scholars, and I absolutely love the community of El Paso, all of the people there, and particularly our partners. So I want to say thank you also to Annette and Mallory and the rest of the team that will support you guys. Um, we can do a lot, but there are some things that we can't do from Houston. And so Annette and Mallory are our boots on the ground, so to speak. Uh, they are your front line. They will care about you very deeply. And so we thank them for everything that they do. And for all of the, the teachers and the parents that are out there listening, um, I want to let you know that I am also a mom. My youngest daughter is a uh, just finished her junior year in engineering at Texas A&M. My older daughter graduated two years ago and she is a first grade teacher. So that brings me a different perspective to my job. Um, we are so incredibly proud of each and every one of you. Uh, the competition this year was extremely competitive because we had to reduce the amount of scholarships that we gave. So I hope that you are all so proud of yourselves for the accomplishment of just being here today. We look forward to being a part of your journey. You have already proven that you have what it takes to, to be a leader, to be a community servant, and we just look forward to being a part of your continued journey. So I look forward to meeting you in person. Um, I get to El Paso as often as I can, and I look forward to the time when we can meet together. Um, I hope that you know, and I think you've already expressed that you are joining not just a scholarship program, but a community, a community of support that's going to be with you to celebrate the good times, but to also walk with you through some of those difficult times. And, and I can tell you they will come. College is not an easy journey, but you will get through to the finish line. And when you graduate with, from UTEP as a Terry Scholar, the world will be open to you with so many possibilities and we can't wait to see what that looks like. So thank you for letting me join you today and I look forward to seeing you all in person. Congratulations. Wonderful, thanks Yvonne and thank you so much for being here with us today. It's very special to have you. Next up scholars, I'd like to introduce you to another very special person. Many of you have met her already but we're excited for her to be here. 
for her to be here with us today. Um, I'm excited to introduce Ms. Kristen Barron, Scholar Relations Coordinator at the Cherry Foundation, working directly with our campus. Hi, Terry Scholars, congratulations again. Um, I had the joy of helping a lot of you get logged into your Zoom interview um, just a few weeks ago. So it's wonderful to see your beautiful faces again. Um, I myself am also a Terry Scholar. I work at the foundation now, but I'm a U of H Terry Scholar from 2007. So I received my acceptance letter in the mail, if you can imagine. Um, so I didn't get the email experience that you all did, but they did fool us with the date a little bit. So I heard that in a lot of your stories that you got the notice a little bit early. So we try to be proactive at the foundation. So you'll see that pattern in the next couple of years. Um, I just wanted to say again, congratulations. I hope that you are able to take small moments in the next couple of weeks to really relish the accomplishments that you've had in high school. You're outstanding students outstanding people with limitless um, potential in the next couple of years to succeed at UTEP. Um, what I'm really excited is that a lot of the people who actually interviewed you on that Zoom call logged in today to see your faces again because um, they were so excited to kind of see you excited to start your next phase of the journey. Um, I will get to serve with Annette and Mallory in supporting you over the next couple of years um, and serve as your Scholar Relations Coordinator. So if you need anything, please let us know. Um, and we are just overjoyed to welcome you to our family. Congratulations. Awesome. Thank you, Kristen. Now we have someone a little closer to home. Scholars, please help me introduce Mr. Louis Rodriguez, Associate Vice President for Divisional Operations and Strategic Initiatives here at UTEP. Good afternoon, Terry Scholars. I had the chance to visit with you a couple of weeks ago, which was really great to get to know you. And I wanna thank you for everything that you shared this afternoon, helping us get to know you a little bit better and sharing your personal stories and experiences. Um, I can't tell you how proud we are of you, how thrilled we are that you're joining the UTEP family. And I also want to thank um, not only Yvonne and Jody and Kristen from the foundation for joining us this afternoon, but also all of the parents, the, um, Terry, the current Terry scholars and alumni, the interviewers. Um, and also I see some high school counselors and teachers and I see UTEP faculty and staff um, as well on this call. Hopefully that signals to you all uh, what a strong support network you have as you join the UTEP family regardless of how we are, whether we're at a distance or in person, we're all here for you. We're all excited about your very, very bright futures. Um, so I wanna thank you all for all the hard work that you've done so far. Um, I mentioned to you last time, I also had the privilege of reading all of your applications and was just blown away by your life stories, by your experiences, uh, by your achievements already, and your potential for even more. And I can't wait to be a small part of supporting that and being a part of the Terry team here at UTEP. So thank you again for being here, parents and, and supporters. Thank you all as well. And we can't wait to see you really soon. Thanks, Mallory. Um, thanks, Louie. Next up, everyone, we have a special message from our Director of Admissions and Recruitment here at UTEP, Mr. Michael Talamantes. Hey, Terry's, how are you doing? First of all, I feel like I was watching the best movie ever. I was crying and laughing at the same time. So. Uh, I really am so proud of you joining the UTEP family. Also, thank you for representing. I see a lot of I and Terry posters in the background, so good job. To the parents, congratulations, you all did good. I mean, these are just prime examples of just stellar students. And also to the counselors here, there's some familiar faces, Christina, Janice, Carmen. Uh, you all did great in bringing these students on board with us, and we're so happy, and we look forward to seeing you on campus. Go Miners. Awesome, thank you, Michael. Next up, I'd like to introduce Ms. Adriana Villegas, incoming president for the Terry Scholars here at Utah. Can I, am I good? Yes, okay. Um, well, hi, everybody. Like they said, um, my name is Adriana Villegas, and I'm so blessed to be able to serve as this year's upcoming president. Um, like everybody said, I don't think I could say it any better. Um, you all are amazing. I've been sitting here in my room just kind of, again, like Michael said, laughing and crying at the same time. Um, I've only gotten to hear from you all for the past 45 minutes, 
and I'm already so incredibly inspired by all of you. Um, I know this time isn't at all what we'd expect it to be, um, especially it being your all senior year. I know this is how you imagined it going, but I can only hope that it's, it's going to get better and we know it's going to get better. Um, and I'm so excited for you all to join our family. Um, that's something that's truly helped me get through college is knowing that this scholarship was so much more than a scholarship. I truly gained another family and I'm so, so thankful for all the people I've met. Um, being a Terry, as I'm sure all of you already understand, it, it is truly life-changing. Um, it's truly been the best thing I've accomplished so far, but it's also because of this scholarship that I know I have so much more to accomplish and go from, from here. So um, on behalf of the organization, I just wanna welcome you all. I'm so excited to get to meet you all. Um, and I wish you well on, the, on finishing up your last semester of high school. Wonderful, thank you, Adriana. Next up, we have Mr. Raul Padilla from the math, the math department chair from J.M. Hanks High School. So we'll give Mr. Padilla just a second to turn on his camera and his mic so he can sit and give you all a little message. Um, if anybody else would also like to give a sweet message to our scholars, just go ahead and turn on your camera and then we will introduce you uh, one by one. We also have on the list to speak um, Ashley Doherty, hope I said that right. Um, Ashley Doherty, so if you all wanna turn on your videos, as soon as we see your videos, we'll introduce you to speak. And I see Miss Jocelyn Contreras, so a Terry alumni has turned on her camera, so I'll um, pass it over to you. Hi, everyone. So my name is Jocelyn Contreras, as Mallory stated, and I am um, part of the first cohort, cohort of UTEP Terry Scholars, so 2015 Terry Scholar. I am currently, why well, I actually just graduated with my master's in accounting from UTEP. Um, so, so yeah, I just want to congratulate like the scholars. I know I was part of your interview panel and I'm just so excited that you guys are joining um, our family and just wanted to extend that invitation, you know, like even though I'm not part of UTEP, I'm not an actual student right now or I won't be anymore. Um, you guys can add me on LinkedIn. I have a Facebook and I'd be more than willing to share any advice that you guys need or maybe just wanna reach out in the future. Like I'm here for you guys too. And I'm just so excited to see what you guys will do in the future and go, go UTEP. Thank you, Jocelyn, we appreciate that. Ms. Doherty, she's on the call. Okay. Hello everyone, uh, my name's Ms. Stockerty. I'm a teacher at Silva Health Magnet. I first met Yesenia, who's a Terry Scholar, uh, when I was her history teacher, and I'm just so impressed by everyone's passion and excitement uh, to start at UTEP. And uh, I just wanted to say congratulations to you all, congratulations to Yesenia. And uh, man, I know we're all at home and there's been so many crazy events and young people and your leadership and your passion and your excitement and your empathy is uh, what we need to help solve problems. And uh, we've got a lot of them right now. So I wanna say congratulations to all of you and especially congratulations to Yesenia. Thank you, Ms. Doggerty. Next we have one of our um, Terry, Terry scholars at UTEP, Ms. Adriana Mares. Adriana, you can please turn on your camera. Thank you. Hello, Annette. I think the camera doesn't want to quite start. I'm trying to start it. Um, feel free to go to probably the next person since uh, I'm really having a hard time. Probably I'm going to have to log off and log in again. Adriana, we can hear you if you want to go ahead and give your message. Okay, yes, that sounds good. Uh, so this is Adriana Maris, uh, 2017 Terry Scholar, and it is my pleasure to absolutely welcome you all to the Terry family. Uh, just hearing from you all um, these couple of minutes 
each one of you has excelled in your respective fields and you sound very passionate and focused on what you want to study here uh, at UTEP. And so we're just very proud of you and I really look forward to meeting you in person. And as Jocelyn mentioned, uh, feel free to reach out to us um, through any of our profiles. We have a Facebook page, it's called UTEP Terry Scholars. And so you're most welcome to connect with, with us there. Uh, again, congratulations to you all and your families. Thank you, Adriana. We appreciate that. And I actually have uh, Noemi Lopez, one of our graduating seniors, one of our Terry scholars. Uh, she would like to give a, a quick few words to our, our current scholars. Okay, sorry. Hi everyone, my name is Noemi Lopez. I am a 2016 Terry Scholar and Lupita's sister. <laughs> so I just wanted to congratulate everyone for this huge accomplishment. Um, we are all very proud of you and we're very excited to be joining us in our Terry Familia. Um, congratulations and I'm excited to meeting you in the banquets and future picnics. So go Miners. <laughs> Thank you, Noemi. We're also proud of our, our scholars. If there is uh, no one else, that members of the audience that would like to share a few words with our scholars. I'll say something, uh, Annette. Thank you, Luis. Hi everyone, I just want to welcome you. Congratulations on uh, becoming a Terry Scholars. It's a pleasure to be on the call and to see uh, new faces. I just wanted to make myself available for you guys. Um, I know coming into the semester, it's a little bit strange, right? Um, you don't really have the opportunity to be going into campus or to be talking to the people that you usually would be speaking to. Um, when I came in in 2018, um, so that's two years ago now, um, the class above us. I mean, they took us around, gave us a campus tour and everything. Just the little things that make you feel a little bit more comfortable coming in. It's just a different environment. And although UTEP is, I mean, still no El Paso, right? It's just a big change from, from high school. So I just wanted to make myself available for anything you might need. Um, right now I'm um, dual majoring or yeah, dual majoring in economics and political science. So I know, Eric, you said um, you want to do economics, right? So you know, anything that I can help in that regard. I've gone through a lot of advising and everything in that, in, uh, in that aspect. I was also in student government. So if anyone's interested in that, um, I was center at large. So I'd love to help you out with um, anything that you might want to do, senator or any other type of SGA member. And lastly, Yesenia, I know you mentioned mock trial. So I'm president of the El Paso Mock Trial Association. So if you're interested in joining, I'd love to help you. Um, but, you know, once again, congratulations, guys. Awesome. Thank you, Luis. And now we have a special message from Marcia Olvera. She works in the Office of Student Financial Aid. She'll be working very closely with all of you. She wanted to talk to you all for a few minutes. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Marcia Olvera, and it's a pleasure to hear and meet everyone. I'm so excited to be a part of this um, meeting and a part of this welcome to everyone. I know I've talked to very Few of you, for example, I know that I spoke with Eric, Matthew, probably, and helped them out with their financial aid. Oh, that's a thing. I work with financial aid. Um, I'm your liaison with the financial aid office. So whenever you need any help, um, and maybe Mallory or Annette are not available, you can also touch base with me, and I'll be able to help you. I will be there for you. Um, I know that Mallory and Annette do an awesome job doing what they do. Um, and I'm their backup, but congratulations everyone. And I just wanted to touch base and go Miners. Awesome, thank you Marcia. We appreciate all that you do for all of our scholars. So we will make sure you all have her contact information because she's a great help to all of us throughout the program. 
So I want to be uh, mindful of time. This has been such a special hour to spend with you all and all of our guests. So thank you to all of our guests for being here. Um, this concludes today's Terry Scholar Welcome Event. Again, thank you for being here, spending time with us. We're so happy that you're able to assist us with welcoming our Terry Scholars in this special way. Even though we couldn't be in person, I think this is just as special, if not even more special, um, of an event that we were able to have. We're so very proud of all of you and all of your accomplishments. And we just want to remind you that this is just the beginning. Your experience at UTEP is just beginning. Annette and I are going to be here to support you along with everyone at UTEP and the foundation to really make these next four years an incredible experience. And then you'll become incredible Terry alumni. So congratulations to everyone. Thank you all for being here. Annette, thank you for putting this together. You are amazing and a great part of our team. And we hope you all have a good afternoon. Go Miners. <laughs>